I want you to hit me as hard as you can. Matthew McConaughey is kinda crazy. Yeah! All actors are kinda crazy and that's okay. Today we shall discuss the sanity of Matthew McConaughey. Uh... Mr. McConaughey gives it his all with every McConaughey performance, spouting out McConaughey's during this McConaissance for us. This stoner cowboy was born and raised in the Lone Star State. Penelope Cruz and Sandra Bullock are some stars he used to date. In Magic Mike, you almost get to see his real schlong, and in that film Bernie, you get to see his real mom. He stopped two punk kids from killing a cat with fire. He got so mad, shit. And in New Orleans, he threw around a can of beer with Brad Pitt. He loves Paul Newman, even named his dog Hud, and he's really good in that movie called Mud. You never said your name. Mud. You can call me Mud. For True Detective, he wrote 450 pages of notes to get into the character's mind. After filming A Time to Kill, he went to Peru to unwind. He was the Grand Marshal for the Daytona 500 in 2005, and people picked him as the sexiest man alive. There were no rehearsals for Dallas Buyers Club, and once he gave Barbara Walters a foot rub. I got you, uh, I got you, don't worry. Just relax, relax, breathe. He played a psycho killer in Texas Chainsaw Massacre 2 and spent a year in Australia shoveling chicken poo. And speaking of chicken, have you seen Killer Joe? It got an NC-17 rating, don't you know? He loves playing lawyers, even studied to be one in real life. During the birth of his child, he played Brazilian music for eight hours to calm his wife. He loves to meditate and smoke a bong. He's really good friends with Lance Armstrong. He was the spokesman for Beef, It's What's For Dinner, and he lost close to 50 pounds to look thinner. Beef, It's What's For Dinner. He's a nice guy, never rude to fans. His Gus Van Sant film was booed at Cannes. I once saw him partying on 6th Street. I, I could have sworn. The Newton Boys takes place in Uvalde, Texas. That's where Matthew was born. His dad was a Green Bay Packer, and he works really well with Woody Harrelson and that guy who directed Slacker. Say, man, you got a joint? No, uh, no, no, I don't need one. It'd be a lot cooler if you did. He was almost in Titanic. He would have played Jack. McConaughey is a member of the Delta Tau Delta frat. He was really high on the set of that Dazed and Confused movie. He did a lot of improv. He was really groovy. That's what I love about these high school girls, man. I get older, they stay the same age. <laughs> he never wears deodorant or cologne. And his 1600 acre ranch is his home sweet home. For Reign of Fire, he grew huge muscles and ate dragons for breakfast. Matthew McConaughey is why you don't mess with Texas. Don't mess with Texas. David Wooderson was based on his own brother, but of course, and in high school his job was to shoot armadillos on a golf course. He was inducted into the Texas Hall of Fame, and Miller Light McConaughey is his nephew's real name. He runs in marathons, he sure is fast, and looks just like this man from the past. Matthew McConaughey is always working for his art. The author of The Lincoln Lawyer said he was perfect for the part. He disturbed the peace by smoking pot, playing naked bongos, and resisting arrest. The Academy gave him an Oscar. They were really impressed. He had a long beard and was wearing a Rasta hat when he first met his wife, so she didn't recognize the movie star. To raise money for Katrina victims, he auctioned off his 1971 Chevrolet Corvette Stingray car. Sometimes he's serious and sometimes he's silly. McConaughey loves the music of Mellencamp and Willie. And man. <laughs> McConaughey has had many wild nights in some wild Texas bars. This Lincoln lawyer went on to sell real Lincoln cars. He always pounds his chest and hums to get in the zone. This was added to the Wolf of Wall Street. It really set the tone. <laughs> Dallas Buyers Club took less than a month to shoot. He loves taking off his shirt. Isn't it cute? I didn't really understand Interstellar or Contact, but I probably should. After years of doing nothing but romantic comedies, he took two years off from Hollywood. Uh... You can often find him on the beach or someplace tropical, shouting out life truths. He's so philosophical. Deadly jellyfish caused fool's gold to have production delays. He also improvised in How to Lose a Guy in 10 Days. He took camel riding lessons so Sahara would feel real, and was on an episode of King of the Hill. Ain't good looking. 
Hey! He traveled the US in a small trailer for Sahara Press Tours and has a phobia of revolving doors. Never did more than three takes in every scene in Killer Joe, and stayed in character the whole time for True Detective. Oh no. He protected his son from a killer 400 pound ram by tossing him off a cliff. He saved the baby. He had to do it. It could have killed them. Maybe. From rags to riches, his life is a Hollywood fable. During his Ed TV audition, he spilt soda and licked it off Brian Grazer's table. He's been skinny, he's been muscular, he's been all of that. And he's also been bald and fat. Say what you want about McConaughey, but he's always working. Even starred in a film where Gary Oldman plays a little person. He hates when people call him Matt, and wants to play Evil Knievel in a movie. I would see that. <laughs> We could discuss his sanity all day and all night, so I'll just end this with three words. All right, all right, all right. 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 All right, all right, all right.